This is our helicopter and this is the hanging rope. Since drag forces are considerable, it would apply a backward force on the rope. This is like a torque acting on the rope about the point where it's connected to the aircraft. Let's do some maths to find the shape of the rope. Let's assume that the rope is made of large number of tiny individual masses which are connected to each other by small rods, just like a chain of small balls. Let's see the forces acting on the lowermost ball. There is, mg downwards, air drag, f, towards left, and tension t1 in upward right direction at an angle theta1 with horizontal. Here's some math which you can understand. Now let's see the second ball from the lower end. The forces acting on this ball are, mg downwards, drag force, f, towards left, tension t1 in downward left and tension t2 in upward right direction but, at an angle theta2 with horizontal. Once again here's some math and solving these we get that tan of theta2 equals tan of theta1. We can do this with all the beads in rope and we can say that the rope will be hanging straight at some angle. Also, some people might think, what if, if we consider the downward draft of the propellers? Of course we can't ignore it but, the thing is that it is like a downward force acting on all the beads in addition to, mg. Unless we consider that the downwash velocity is not same throughout the length of rope, everything is going to be very easy. Things are gonna change only when we consider that the downwash velocity decreases as it descends.